Again tonight with the intense winter storm known as a bomb cyclone slamming Northern California tonight. Good evening. I'm Pat Harvey. The remnants of that storm could be headed our way. Heavy snow shut down the five freeway about 90 miles or 50 miles south of the California Oregon border. Hundreds of big rigs were stranded while some people were stuck and had to dig their car out. Other drivers were spinning out due to the slick roads. Now this is Soda Springs along Interstate 80 near the summit of the Sierra. It's nearly whiteout conditions. Heavy snow blanketed the roads. Snow plows were out clearing the way for drivers and over in Truckee, ice and snow were hitting the ground. In the Bay Area, big waves crashing along the shore in Pacifica while rain soaks the ground and strong winds sway the trees in Washington and Oregon. The storm brought hurricane force winds and caused extensive damage. KKL News reporter Gio Insignares is here with a look at the destruction and he begins our team coverage. Gio. Pat, good evening to you. You already see how intense it was in just those videos. Washington, Oregon, large parts of the state were the first to be blanketed in the snow and covered in a number of massive trees that smashed homes and businesses. Unfortunately, it also led to some deaths and injuries. This is crazy. There's, there's trees up everywhere. There's houses destroyed. The Pacific Northwest in the path of powerful weather. Huge tree limbs came crashing down on cars and buses Tuesday night. With hurricane force winds gusting over 70 miles per hour, it wasn't just trees, but power lines coming down as well, knocking out power to hundreds of thousands of people. The energy company that services the Seattle area says the mass outage could last multiple days. Also in the area, at least two people killed and two others injured. One of the deaths was a woman who was struck by this tree while in her home. Her husband quickly called 911. I just had a tree hit my house, and I think it, it may have fallen on my wife. Others, like Emily Christensen, a mom of two little girls, is left trying to save whatever is left. Does it feel real? No, I'm just going to imagine I'm in a nightmare. She says she's lucky to be alive after a tree crashed into her room, but now they have to deal with a brand new struggle. I'm a single mom with two kids, and I'm pretty sure uh, we're not going to have a place to live for a while. Meantime in Oregon, snow, high surf, pounding rain, and strong winds are a result of the land-soaking storm. And in the mountainous passes between Portland and the central part of the state, tire chains are a must. Getting pretty delirious now. You know, we're on minute 37 of getting these chains on. And things aren't over yet. Forecasters say the bomb cyclone essentially tapped an atmospheric river, which is expected to dump torrential rain over the region through tomorrow, with forecasters predicting Northern California could reach a rare level four of four flood risk over the next 24 hours. And another bomb cyclone could develop and rapidly strengthen just off the West Coast on Friday. This new storm will likely be weaker than the first, but will still juice up the region's rain threat and could also usher in another round of damaging winds. Pat, I'll send it back to you. All right, thanks so much for that, uh, Gio. And my family in C Seattle was impacted mm. somewhat by all of this. So, Ev, what is a bomb cyclone, okay? I know you're going to explain it for yep. us, and you also have the latest on the storm's path in our next weather. Absolutely, Pat, that's exactly right. And as Gio was mentioning, we've got another bomb cyclone that we're looking at. We're going to explain exactly what that means because it's such a big word that we throw around sometimes. And we also have this atmospheric river that's been intersecting with the cyclone. So, first and foremost, Foremost, let's talk about where the rain is right now. It's still sitting over Northern California and the Pacific Northwest. We're also looking at snow in the mix over the Sierra. By the time the rain and snow gets to Southern California, it won't be nearly as intense. And we're going to time that out for you in just a little bit, but I just want to let you know ahead of schedule that we are expecting the rain, just not as much as we're seeing in Northern California, four to eight inches once everything is said and done. And this is where it is right now over the North Bay, really over the Bay Area. And we are looking at snow currently in the Sierra as well. So the big question of the night, what is this bomb cyclone you speak of? Well, if a storm decreases 24 millibars in 24 hours or less in millibars, that's how we measure pressure. It's considered a bomb cyclone. It's rapid intensification, and that's what we've experienced with this round of rain and the next one that's coming in and conditions. Well, means severe rainfall and flash flooding, which is exactly what we were just looking at in Northern California. We're continuing to watch and of course we're watching our forecast here at home. We'll show you exactly when and where we're expecting to see the rain in your neighborhood in just a little bit. Pat back to you. All right. Yep. The wet is coming. All right.